Hey everyone, welcome back. We are in the uh, crypto winter. We're in the midst of it. We're in the bear market of even stocks, housing, interest rates. Of course, the horrible inflation about what, 14%, even though the government says it's nine, they're lying. They munge the numbers. It's a lot higher. You can tell by the gas pump. I've never seen it this bad, ever. Uh, and the food prices, either you're paying more for food or the quantity, the sizing of the stuff you're getting is less. It's not looking good. People are actually now wondering how I'm going to pay my electric bill, stuff like that. We even got a notice broadcast out on the text message to all of the electricity customers. For June, the uh, pricing has been going up 25% for many reasons across the country, for the world, uh, energy cost, inflation, delivery cost of the product. Everything's affecting everything. Uh, time to hunker down. I've been canceling membership subscriptions I don't really need, uh, considering dumping Amazon Prime as well. That's 130 bucks a year. They can take that and pay a bill or two. Uh, Netflix may go. I don't really need that. I don't really watch it. Uh, they're mostly junk on Netflix. Just looking where I can cut costs. And with that, I cut my GPUs off. Having said all that, I decide to shut them down mainly because of the energy costs going up. For me, electricity with this month, Everything is affected. Stocks are down. It's not looking good, man. I don't know if it's by design. They're trying to destroy the middle class or the country. I have no idea. It just does not look good. Uh, then I just saw a report Lake Mead is drying up. This may lead to famines along with all these food processing plants coincidentally being burnt down across the country. What is happening, guys? Uh, you may start putting on your, again, critical thinking hat and go, what is happening? You know, start thinking on your own and go, man, something does not add up right. It's getting a little weird out there. But anyway, here we see zero ETH. I'm getting zero because they are off, mainly because the energy cost was spiked in my area because of demand and uh, economy. They tried to keep them down. They tried to keep the prices down. But no, it's it's not worth it anymore right now. They're gonna uh, Rigs will be off. I'm not going to sell my equipment. I'm just going to keep it clean, which I actually cleaned the other week. I might just blow off the dust. Uh, but other companies want my GPUs. I'm not selling them. Why? Because of that reason. If somebody wants my stuff, there's a reason i'm gonna hold on to it and uh wait till the market bounces back but uh, also with the heat it was i i'm welcoming the uh lack of baking temperatures in the server room even with the high ventilation i got it just still got hot uh with the humidity and heat picking up in the middle of june so anyway they're off guys what are you doing are you shutting yours off too i don't mind mining but i'm thinking i don't want to spend lots of money in electricity and fighting the ac units in the building to keep the keep the keep the things running i'd rather take the money and buy the crypto outright but right now let's go look oh uh, we're at twenty thousand five hundred seventeen bitcoin ethereum boo uh 1079 i'm not a big fan of ethereum other than to mine it and make profit and i do get paid on in bitcoin that's why i use two miners uh yeah i don't like ethereum for many reasons watching the dev uh, sessions of Zoom calls. I have no faith in these guys. Like I said, I would never buy a used car, a car from these people. They just don't seem to have a leadership. And I think once this thing ever, if ever it goes to proof of stake, it's going to tank. Uh, but I hope it comes up a little bit so I can dump it. I have a couple ETH. I just want to dump it to Bitcoin. Everything in Bitcoin, man. Bitcoin is king. It may go to zero though. So who knows, man? Who knows? I'm just putting this video out there saying I shut my rigs off. Let's go look at some more stats and wrap this puppy up. All right, this is sobering. So what's your Ethereum mining profitability? It is, uh, what is it? Oh my God. Uh, 1.45 cents per mega hash. That's pathetic. And we're back to what levels? We're back to, oh my God, back in January 20, about January, February 2020. So that's, man, even April 2020. So yeah, two years. We're back to two year lows. But everything's higher now. So even though the uh, profitability is lower, I mean, difficulty is higher and all this stuff. I just, it's just, you're just, not, you're just not accumulating as much coin as you did a couple years ago. Uh, yeah, not good. I don't like that. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have your average block time. We talked about, I think we got close to 15. Now I think it's about 14.5, 14.7. Yeah, about, yeah, 14.54. You can check it on this Etherscan stuff, these charts. You can also go to, uh, what do you can go to? Mining pool stats. Yeah, mining pool stats. They give you a warm fuzzy right here. We got the block height right there on the right here. See my little mousey? As you shake it, it gets bigger. Yeah, that's what she said. 
and you got the average block time at 14.8 seconds and you got the difficulty 14.08 peta hash peta peta hash all right uh what else we got uh looks like this has kind of dropped a little bit i'm trying to get right on it the uh, hash rate has come down a little bit right there maybe people are turning their rigs off a ethereum network hash rate chart the ethereum network hash rate chart shows the historical measure of the processing power of the ethereum network and maybe people are shutting their rigs off because they don't want to go broke big mining companies are selling bitcoin to cover their cost some are going to go out other mining companies will sell their bitcoin to my uh, to mine to buy the companies the other mining companies that are going to go out of business so there's going to be a lot of liquidation of bitcoin just to accumulate so everyone's kind of positioning and staging their cells hopefully for the next bull run nobody knows not even bitcoin ben uh, let's go let's see ethereum network difficulty chart looks like that is going up so we got june 16 13.7 and maybe dropped is this actually accurate now all right 14.2 down to where are we at the 17th so this is about a day behind so the difficulty has dropped interesting and the hash rate has dropped but profits are down so there's a formula there somewhere i'm trying to figure it out but when i see i'm not making any money burning all that electricity and generating all that heat i just said enough is enough for now shut them down clean them up clean up the room do some uh do some chores do some uh housekeeping and get the things ready and keep watching the uh, charts and uh, get ready to turn it back on i am mining uh cpus right now because i want to get my minimum payout i'm mining on zerg pool and i'm solo mining to maximize my profits and stay above water uh as i mine so i don't lose too much money i have to keep mining and i'm getting paid out in bitcoin as well on my cpus but again it's it's pennies i'm sorry it's pennies it's a hobby it's not life-changing money i wish it were but it's not going to be the goal is i just want to keep getting the bitcoin stacked the satoshi stacked as i always mentioned in the videos i'm still trying to hold to it it's so it's so easy to get distracted by the shiny object other tubers two monsters coming out pushing other algorithms and that i don't want to switch anything i mean i switched the rigs off just to take a break until maybe this difficulty bomb gets diffused or whatever heck whatever the the damn ethereum devs are doing i know they had a call uh, last week about this difficulty bomb delaying it turning it off hopefully it's going to free it up and uh, profitability will at least get back to you know you make a couple bucks and stack some more satoshis right that's my plan uh, watching that daily and i'm um, watching the ethereum sites as well to see what's happening so that's where i'm at I shut the rigs down cpus are still running for now rooms a lot colder rooms a lot quieter you'll notice lack of fans uh yeah i just can't justify dishing out the money right now for electricity especially when the power company tells you yeah 25 percent increase I'm, oh my god all right there you go we're in the crypto winner the crypto winner the bear market uh, yeah, what are you guys up to? Post below. Let me know what you're doing. I'm still trying to learn what you can do, how you can make profits with this. And I got to go back in time to 2018, 2020, and see what people were doing. And again, I think the accumulation was a lot more at those times during mining than they would be now. So you got to you got to weigh the pros and cons of the um, accumulation and the, the cost of electricity and your overhead. I'm not buying GPUs, not at this time. I think they're going to drop a lot more like the 2060s um i like the 6600 xts because they run efficient i was debating whether to run that rig alone i have six 6600 xt amd gpus which run about 32 mega hash on eth hash and they run really really efficient power to hash rate ratio i like those someone mentioned the 6600s by themselves i have i don't have any of those so i don't know i'm sure they get a little bit less hash rate but I'm right now I'm gonna go with what I know. And I even think the sixteen sixty supers run okay. I have to, I have to double check my efficiency setting on that. But the big boys, the thirty eighty TIs, full HR LHR unlock, they run about four hundred twenty percent. I wanna get above that and some run down lower and they're burning a lot of watts and I don't think they run as efficient. They put a lot of heat out and they suck a lot of power. So the thirty um 3060s and 3080 TIs are down. So I'm going to keep watching to see if I can fire up those 6600 XTs and get back in the game. But it's got to be profitable in a couple bucks a day. Yeah. All right. Keeping an eye on it. Talk to you guys later. That's the update. 
I'm out.